In this case, there's less instability when they jet the chin forward. Hi, it's Dr. Brian Hutchison, and here's an example of a patient doing the open mouth with lateral bending view, and we're watching how much instability or overhang there is of C1 on C2. Typically, when we do this view, we almost always see a little bit more instability, and sometimes a lot more, when we first have the patient jut the chin forward and then do a pure lateral bending. In this case, with the patient you're seeing here, there's less instability when they jut the chin forward and bend. In her case, as you'll see, we're gonna show you shortly on her jutting view that her C1 hits the occiput when she juts her chin forward, and that's blocking the overhang. So it's a protective mechanism that her body has designed or developed that when she juts her chin forward, her C1 posterior arch is hitting her occiput and that's limiting excessive motion, which would cause a neurologic catastrophe and make her feel even worse than she does. So while she already has a lot of instability just with side bending, it would be even more forward if it weren't for her C1 and occiput touching and limiting that motion. So this is another example of some of the subtleties that we look for here at our clinic when we're analyzing and working on these hard to get better upper cervical and neck related neurologic and also blood flow related uh, conditions that are coming from structural abnormalities in your spine. So thank you so much for watching this short video and we look forward to staying connected.